Right, so we're back more onto the projects again today. Um, don't know how much we're going to get today done today because we've got a job to do on the wife's car that I've been promising her since uh, oh, Christmas Day, day after Christmas Day. Which you bear in mind, we're sort of end of February, it's, yeah. So, yeah, where are we off to anyway? Um, as you can probably tell, if you go back up, up top here, you tell easy. Right. By the way, the water's sort of gone on the bonnet. There's proof. She does get polished and oiled and quite regularly, yeah. You can see on the, bo the bonnet's polished, whereas because the mud guards have got um, it's just a bit of light surface, right? I actually quite, I'm not going to do anything with it. But yeah, you see, you see that's all been oiled up. So anyway, right, task in hand. Um, spotlight. We finally came up with a theory. As you see, why it runs down there, down into this plastic extension, which, can we see underneath here? Yeah. Is that wire running down there? Done same on both sides. Uh, where do we run now? And then down, following underneath the back of here. There's the end of the two cables, which we drilled a small hole. Yeah, you can just see. In here in the back of the cab, it's not, it's only small hole, it's not a structural, really. It's, Solid structural piece, so and get away with doing that. Um, so yeah, that's where we're going into the cab there. Um, on the other side, the power feed inside. Oh, I've got a cable tie back because the bloody thing snapped on it. I need to do something with this latch. It's not right at that. Yeah, there we go. Give me that. I do want that though. Oh. Right, uh, yes. Right. Yes, we look here. So I had... On top of the... Battery's not really clean. Good idea here, guys. Keep the top of your batteries clean because a battery can actually discharge through the trap over the top of your battery and give you symptoms of a dead battery or a battery going dead when in actual fact all it wants is a bit of soap and water and a clean up so yeah there we are useless tip for the day so um you see this this wire running here this is all to do with the the give me a minute beacons both the front ones up there and of course somebody would rather eloquently put it to me one day the twin tips on the roof so that system is it's a system that's already been done it's got fuses in it it all works properly i didn't see the point in pulling it apart just for the sake of pulling it apart the system works the system's safe so i've left that alone this on the other hand is all my handiwork um you can see proper connector in there down into this is a great big fuse holder you can see by the size of my finger it, it's it's a big proper fuse holder i can't think where i put the bloody fuses for it now so yeah that runs into there and then this runs into this is domestic three core cable you've got all three three lines connected to the mains um yes yeah, so that's where we're up to here um when i get the other side of it i'll show you where it's all going to as you can see we've also got these all wired up they run across the back here and then back down and look there, those are the the two feed cables which go up there and up into the cab. All nice as job. Um, we've got a job to do back here as well. This is where the I don't know if guys have seen it on, on videos, me and Emilio Dixon have been talking about he knows of there's filters in that valve block that can get they basically trap the little bits metal filings and that and of course they're not sort of well i mean i didn't even know about them 
so he's told me about them so they will be coming out and um, yeah we'll be having a look at that so yes that is it as you can see <laughs> she's not as clean as in the last videos um, this is because I had a big conifer tree uh, storm Doris um, basically pulled it out well didn't didn't fall down we managed to well you probably heard it all all in the chat and away video when in the truck but yeah we managed to drop it before it fell down pain in the ass job so saturday took the girl down and uh an eight ton scow and tipping trailer and loaded it all up and it's up in a pit up the field ready to get burnt so yeah the roads were mucky the tires you can see now my tires are all nice and clean because it put it all up the tractor and it's probably were running wider tires so, hey, I mean, if you look at that on the back wheel there's nothing stopping it and good treads and all that picked up the mud well but yeah this is where we're starting a little point i always try and make um <sighs> Whenever you're doing a wiring job, you see like this one is, when they're pulled apart, this one's bare, this one's still insulated. So I, this is the power feed in, I always try and put the insulated on the power feed in. Then if, for whatever reason, something goes wrong and these separate, the live part of it is, uh, is still relatively insulated. It stops you. Help strap, I save you from a uh, major disaster. Which you're thinking, dry weather, these start, up, start sort of sparking a bit. You could end up losing your tractor. Right down there. Right, so that's that side. Bit of old faithful insulation tape. I should have each trimmed these really. Bit of tape round. Cross this a bit off. Round there. So if they do start to pull apart, they don't. Oh. Well, that's not so good. Why does that bloody come out? Okay. Yeah. That's why. Is this the insulated part that I had plenty of of it? Non-insulated part I was struggling to find. That scrap. Let's not screw this one off because I don't think I've got another spare. Nothing there. I'm not sure with these connectors. You I'm not the only one that doesn't always get them right. Right, that's better hopefully. Try this again. Right. Um, tape set. just arrived so that'll do for now oh um, yeah cab's a bit of a mess show you this this is all the wiring I was going on about that runs into the cab red uh, relays the relay for the um, spotlights the blue wire there at the backs the power running into the fuse board and yeah I've literally just Put in the last wire. Cab floor still an absolute mess. So I'm not sure I'm right on the wires on the switch either. Turn that off. Turn that off. Oh, 
Okay, nothing's happening. I'm sure it is that switch, so we'll have a fiddle and I'll get... Right, okay, problem solved. A mixture of a duck switch and a blown fuse. So we changed it for a little funny one. Let's go get a bit of full effect. So there we go, we've got uh, two extra sets of spotlights working now, um, they work on, they're not on the on the light circuit, they're on ignition live, so you can see, see here, yeah, turn your lights into, yeah, 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 ignition on and off, she comes on and off, so, yeah, that was a good bit of headache, but yeah, done, wife's car's done, so I've, uh, Fulfilled the promise I've been making for long enough. Bobby Dazzler. I've just got to get power sockets in here. And uh, then that's, that's it for wiring, so... Yes, that'll do.